Welcome to Our Lady of Sorrows Church of St. Teresa of Calcutta Parish and this Holy Mass. The Martha and Mary Club will meet on Wednesday, May 11th at noon. Please sign up in the back of the church if you would like to attend. Please turn off your cell phones. Join me in reciting the prayer for vocations. Jesus, our brother and our eternal high priest, you told us that the harvest is great, but the workers are few. You ask us to pray to the Lord of the harvest to send workers into his fields. Give to our church for the world today true leaders from among our families and friends in the Diocese of Norwich. Give them the willingness to answer your call to serve as priests, deacons, sisters, and brothers. May we all have the strength and courage to serve you and your people in whatever way you call us. Amen. Today we celebrate the third Sunday of Easter. This Mass is offered for the parish. Please rise. Our entrance hymn is Christ the Lord is Risen Today, number 163. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, today we welcome Father Andrew to join this Mass and to consecrate this Mass. I am coming right from the airport and I got the sad news of the two young men from our parish who died in an accident on Friday. So today I ask you to pray for Anthony and Robert Dutchick and the 17-year-old Megan Nicole Pavilates, that they may rest. The joy and peace of God. We also remember their parents, Tom and Nora Dutchik, that God may be with them to give them consolation and comfort. When we left from Madrid uh, this morning or yesterday, after 25 pilgrims, two were held back because they were tested positive. So Kathy from our parish and Linda from the parish of Father Robbie in Staten Island, <coughs> they are isolated for five days. Keep also of them in your prayers. Now let us call to mind our sins and ask for God's pardon. I confess to Almighty God. 
and to you, my brothers and sisters, very of greatly sin, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Gloria, Gloria, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Gloria, Gloria, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, almighty Father, Gloria, Gloria, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Gloria, Gloria, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Let us pray. May your people exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so the rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the captain and the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them, we gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, 
We must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. The Sanhedrin ordered the apostles to stop speaking in the name of Jesus and dismiss them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. The word of the Lord. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld. You preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime his good will. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with the dawn rejoicing. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You changed my mourning into dancing. O Lord, my God, Forever will I give you thanks. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, looked and heard the voices of many angels who surrounded the throne and the living creatures and the elders. They were countless in number and they cried out in a loud voice, worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and blessing. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea, everything in the universe cry out, to the one who sits on the throne and to the lamb be blessing and honor, glory and might forever and ever. The four living creatures answered, amen, and the elders fell down and worshiped. The word of the Lord. is risen 
Creator of all, He has shown pity on all people. Alleluia. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Chapter 21 verses from 1 to 19. At that time, Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together were Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathanael from Cana in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore, but the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it, and were not able to put it, pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple, whom Jesus loved, said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. Jesus said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that Jesus had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, follow me. The Gospel of the Lord.
The Gospel According to John After the resurrection, we never see that Jesus appeared to his disciples or the disciples saw Jesus. What you read is, Jesus revealed himself So the, the disciples could not see Jesus unless Jesus was revealed. So we cannot see God, we cannot comprehend God if God doesn't reveal himself to us. That is the basic truth about our faith. God is compassionate enough to reveal himself to us that we may see him, love him, and praise him. We were on a pilgrimage to Fatima and Lourdes. From our parish, about 10 people came. And in all the time we said Mass in the holy places, we prayed for you, for our parish, and for the parish where Father Robbie, my friend, he is the pastor. In Fatima, the two ch three children, all of a sudden, they saw the angel three times. Then Our Lady appeared to them. And these children did not know, did not understand. So Lucia asked the mother, where are you from? I am from heaven. Who are you? Eventually, she would tell, I'm the Lady of the Rosary. This is the revelation. They did not know who the Lady was and where she came from until she revealed to them. In Lourdes, the same thing happened. Our Lady appeared to Bernadette 18 times, and this young lady, 14 years old, she was asking Our Lady, please tell me your name. Only on the 15th appearance, Our Lady told her, I am the Immaculate Conception. So today, as we offer this Mass on the third Sunday of Easter, we always seek to understand the meaning of the resurrection and the meaning and nature of God. Today, we are given this theme, one part of the Gospel is that God reveals himself, and unless God reveals himself, we cannot see God, we cannot know God. Today in this Mass, we ask for the special grace that God may continue to reveal himself to us and open our minds and hearts and our soul to see him, to know him, and to love him. May God bless us today and keep us in his providence. Now let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father of all, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father from God, God from God, light from light, 
true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified and at Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, <coughs> the living of the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. <coughs> in the life of the world to come, amen. Through the mystery of God's presence among us, let us confidently make our needs known to the Most High. For the church, that the will to obey God in all things shone like a light of truth to inspire those who suffer persecution for their faith, we pray to the Lord. Amen. For those who sit upon thrones or live in palaces of power, that they look more deeply to see how the needs of the poor might be met, let us pray to the Lord. For all who are estranged from the Christian family, that they find reconciliation and peace, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For all who gathered at this table, that they recognize the Lord in each person they meet, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Now let us bring our prayers in silence to the Heavenly Father. Kind and merciful God, you feed your flock with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Hear the prayers we bring through Christ our Lord. Our offertory hymn is the Supper of the Lord, number 349. Precious body, precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Here the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now, cup of life is poured. Come share the supper of the Lord. This is the bread of God coming down from heaven, giving life to us, to all the world. Precious body, precious blood, Seen as bread and wine Here the Lord prepares the feast divine Bread of love is broken now Cup of life is poured Come share the supper of the Lord I am the living spring of eternal life. You that drink from me shall not thirst again.
Precious body, precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Here the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now, cup of life is poured. Come share the supper of the Lord. I am the bread of heaven, giving life to you. You that eat this bread shall never die. Precious body, precious body. Seen as bread and wine. Here the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now, cup of life is poured. Come share the supper of the All those who feed on me have their life in me. As I have my life in the living God. Precious body, precious blood, seen as bread and wine. Here the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now, cup of life is poured. Come share the supper of the Lord. Pray, brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of Jesus. To the praise of the Lord, 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 Lord. Receive, O oh Lord, we pray these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may be fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. At all times to claim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to Lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb born slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body, ye and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you can't eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was he ended, <clears throat> he took the chairs. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you can drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new, an eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, can for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Michael our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Robert and Anthony Dutchick, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heads to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, Amen, Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
uh, to deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth the Mass is he ended. Our recessional hymn is Alleluia, Alleluia, Let the Holy Anthem Rise, number 167.